Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, we did get the chance to test Hood and Venom Pool on stream, live stream. It was very helpful. Got to learn a lot about the champions. Hood is not who I hoped he was, but I think who he is might still be an excellent, excellent addition and someone I might consider ranking to rank three. Now, I want to talk a lot about in this video his utility while also trying to get some damage done and in particular through his bullet mechanic and hexes. It's going to be four very quick fights, but it makes sense. They're all in the same quest lane. It's the side quest from this month. We'll really get to show that and how that works out. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit like, subscribe. I always appreciate the support. OK, let's jump into this. You see the persistent mechanic there with the 28. Those are his bullets. And I want to show you how this works out in a fight where the champion has buffs, a lot of buffs and no buffs and how I think you were really going to want to configure a play hood and maybe not even bring him in certain situations or not rely on the hex for your source of damage. All right. One of the things you saw that right off the bat is I'm not in love with how smooth or lack of smoothness, I guess it is to trigger his invisibility with the dash back and hold block. I know some of us would like that because you don't want to accidentally trigger the invisibility, but I just wish it was a bit more smooth and you saw me kind of getting used to it. All right, so we've now triggered the invisibility. I've brought along the Strife Synergy. Strife, I do enjoy questing, which I think he's a very good champion. So I brought along uh, questing champions who I think are ones you would want to bring along anyways. You're seeing that we're missing. Remember, you start off with 120% chance. I have brought along a Synergy that's up that to 140. Whenever you've missed though, you've uh, had an attack miss, you're gonna drop that by 20%. So once you've missed two uh, attacks, you're now starting to risk the chance of, of uh, taking a hit. And you'll see that later on in the video, I'll kind of showcase that against Cosmic Ghost Rider. Here we are detonating our heavy. You saw a significant amount of damage coming off with that. As I said, I've brought along Hood, which is increasing the attack rating while invisible by 50%. So it is sizable. It is sizable, and that is part of why I'm triggering the invisibility before landing the heavy to detonate those hexes. All right, you saw the persistent mechanic there with the bullets. We were able to keep it up pretty easily without really paying attention. Now, here's what it looks like when you're going up against a fight where there are no buffs. Keep in mind, I have brought along the Mole Man synergy. There's other champions in there who I actually like, so I don't think you have to bring along Mole Man if you don't want to. Um, but there are other, uh, it's going to help us by adding, I think it's three bullets every time we knock the defender down. So that's going to help keep the bullet count high. But this is a, a fight here without buffs for us to be nullifying because you do get bullets back when you nullify, which will happen from the stagger, which is coming from every critical hit. You're seeing that uh, underneath Deadpool's health bar there too. And then of course the fate seal, which is coming off the SP2. So there's a lot of opportunities to nullify, get your bullets back, but if the champion doesn't have buffs, isn't trying to trigger them despite the stagger and the fate seal, you're not gonna get your bullets back and you're seeing that as we drop all the way down to 15 already. Now we're setting up for a nice big detonation. There's a 33,000 damage heavy that's from just playing. I wasn't trying to maximize my hexes. I wasn't playing any sort of game or anything like that, just doing damage. Now we're starting off with 15 bullets. We're moving into the Cosmic Ghost Rider fight here where there will obviously be more buffs. Again, I'm not gonna pay attention to try to maximizing them. I think something if you wanted to, you could not finish off combos, uh, right? With your medium attack because that's when you're landing your hexes and utilizing your bullets is from medium attacks in the SP2. It does have a very nice dash back intercept into light anyway. So I could see you wanting to do that. But we're all the way down to 13 here. I think we're going to start getting them up as uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider tries to trigger some of his buffs. <clears throat> and then this fight didn't go, this AI didn't work out as well as I had wanted it to. So you've seen, I've now triggered the invisibility. I'm intentionally letting him throw those. He had thrown the first two, which did miss, which then put us down to 100. I wasn't confident in my ability to time the rest of the special, so I just blocked the rest. That's what we're talking about with you losing a little bit of your chance to miss. And then now we've come in for the nice SP1 to finish it off. This guy's got a lot of utility and he has a decent, it's a respectable amount of damage that will allow you to get these fights done. Now I'm pausing this because I want to let you know in this fight, you start off with fisticuffs and you cannot trigger a buff or land a debuff in the first, I think it's like 10 seconds or 20 seconds of the fight. 
Hood's invisibility is now an active buff, meaning we're not going to be able to trigger it. So that's why I will start the fight the way that I have. In the previous fight, we were able to go from, I think it was like 18 bullets up to 22, as you're seeing in this next fight, uh, without even really just be thinking about the bullets. So here we go. We've now, uh, the fisticuff is off. I want to point out too, that we were able to land our hexes, which is, we now have four of them in the upper right hand corner, five, and our staggers, because those are passive, we're invisible. I'm gonna throw that, so we now have the fate seal up too. All right, so you see the miss. And I am gonna go ahead, because I wanted to see what we could do here with the heavy. You see, two misses and back out, right? Two misses, back out. You can push it more if you want, obviously, but I don't know if that's a good idea. And then we're setting up for the big heavy finish here. Got, I need to re, uh, refresh that hack, so I need to land a medium. There we go. Now got two more. And then pretty soon I will trigger my invisibility so that I have increased uh, attack rating, triggered it with the SP2, landed a few more hexes. And then look at the damage off of that. It was about 47,000 damage off a of heavy when we didn't need to do anything special to create that. That's just from all of those hexes being landed with our mediums and our special two, the crits, uh, creating the stagger, the SP2, creating the fate seal, which can be refreshed by your heavy, preventing the buffs, ever triggering up on Hercules, feeding mystic dispersion. Those nullifies are also feeding more bullets. It's early, it's early, but I know that if you've been watching my channel, you know I'm very excited about Hood. I thought about him as, but I have a tier five CC of Mystic. It had his name on it. I still think it might. I still think it might. I still think he may be someone I bring along uh, or bring up to rank three for a few reasons. One is he has absolutely tremendous utility. He always has, a little bit has been removed, but a lot of it, that fate seal is still there and you can refresh it. Plus there's now this cool mini game with the bullets and the hexes, which allows you to detonate them with the heavy, especially off of the invisibility. And then here's what I want to explore in the next one. I want to explore, and you let me know if you're interested in seeing more on Hood, is off the SP3, there is a, a pretty sizable bleed, which you can also refresh with the heavy. And I'm thinking that might be another way to play him, particularly in matchups that don't have a lot of buffs. That way you're not using your, uh, your bullets as much. You're gonna get to the SB3, use your heavy to refresh that, use your invisibility to help build up your bullet mechanic. And then of course, if you wanna bring along Mole Man, it's gonna help you out too. So I think there's a, a variety of ways to play this guy, which I particularly enjoy with a champion. I think that's part of them having good flow. The flow on his kit playing him this way seems to be excellent. I still think he's rank three worthy. I don't know if I'm in a hurry to do it because I wanted to bring him along with my ghost team and my kingpin team and have him be a bit of a situational hitter or take on certain fights, kind of like what you just saw. Uh, but with those champions, I would want to be running the recoil masteries and he doesn't work real well with that. Uh, in particular, if you're running this SP1, SP2 or just SP2 cycling, remember you're getting a lot of power from Mystic Dispersion and throwing all those specials with him having neither bleed nor uh, poison immunity or resistance it doesn't work out really well that being said i like this champion if you have him i think he's very worthy of ranking up i hope you enjoyed the utility hit me up in the comment section let me know if you have any other questions or if there's anything else you want to see or a deeper dive or testing on that thank you so much for watching take care i hope you either learned something were entertained or even better a little bit of both don't forget to like subscribe thanks so much for watching take care